In Minecraft, there are characters called NPCs, which stand for non-player characters. And I can find one by going to my inventory, by pressing E on my keyboard, and typing in NPC. And I'll see this rainbow colored NPC spawn egg that I can add to my hotbar. And I'm gonna close my inventory, and I can go to try to place it. Well, then I get a message that says, you need world builder permissions to spawn an NPC. So let's give ourselves world builder permission. So I can use a slash command by pressing the forward slash on my keyboard or pressing enter to open up the chat and then typing in slash, but I'm gonna type in slash WB and this gives me world builder status. You'll see the message on the screen saying that it's updated to true. So think of this that you are now in your teacher or editor mode. And so now I can right click and place that NPC. I can then see on my mouse tip that I can right click and select edit. And I can see that I can change the name and the appearance and some dialogue and some advanced settings that we're going to explore. So I'm gonna rename this as Minecraft Hour of AI. And I'm going to edit that dialogue and say, play Minecraft Hour of AI. And I'm gonna close that, but then I can change the appearance. And I can click through many different options here. And this is great if your students are wanting to create characters for a story, or you as a teacher want to create an NPC to give guidance or direction to your students. But I like this one here. And then I can select advanced settings and I can even add in a URL, which is great if you want to give your students direction to a specific page or external resource. But here I'm going to add in the new hour of AI generation AI world. And I can even change the button name that will appear. And this generation of AI world, I encourage you to play. It's a fun tutorial where you're, where you're going to venture through time to create helpful AI powered inventions code with make code blocks or Python to build a better AI for all. So anyways, we're going to add in our button name and say play hour of AI. And now I can go back, close out of our edit here, and I'm still in world builder mode. So you'll see that if you right click with your mouse, you'll still be able to edit. So let's take ourselves out of world builder status by typing slash WB. And then we'll see that our world builder status has updated to false. So think of this, that you are now in your student mode or your game uh, engagement mode. So now my mouse, the right click says talk. So I can right click on our NPC. I see the dialogue that is here that you can use immersive reader for. It has the name there, but I have a button, play hour of AI, which I see that this opened that link and that will guide me to the page that I have the NPC to select. So this is a great way to, again, as a teacher, create NPCs to give guidance or direction in worlds that you're creating or for students to add in characters to a story to add in a little bit more depth to their creations as well. Enjoy and have fun within Minecraft education. There's more to learn. Check out our Minecraft Teacher Academy courses and other learning opportunities at aka.ms forward slash mcgettrained.